Ah, the hero of Shaymor returns. Come and see how friends and neighbors alike have turned out to welcome you home. A party, Farron? For me? Or is this just an excuse to get your friends together and see what's in my wine cupboard? Nonsense! Heroes are always popular. These nice people simply insisted on congratulating you and celebrating your brave victory. And you insisted on breaking out my finest food and drink for the occasion. You deserve no less. Still, I can't take all the credit. Your household staff was most helpful, even eager to facilitate the process. I wish my servants loved me half as much. But then, I am lovable in other ways. <laughs> and the less said about that, the better. Now, wipe off that smirk and let's go enjoy my best roast duck and brandy. The guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the hero of Shamor. So, hero, gather around, gather around. What Responsibility is? isn't easy. Greetings. Can I offer you something now? Prepare to be stunned. Right out of your shoes. Behold! Would you care the hero of Shamor. The hero of Shamor. Speak quickly. Tell us about it. Farron shouting, where is he? I saw those ruffians dragging him down the street. They're going to kill him. Calm down. See to the other guests and make sure no one else has been harmed. I'll go after Lord Farron.
I'm feeling much better now. Am I pleased to see you? Though if you wanted me to leave the party, a simple begone freeloader would have sufficed. I'll make a note of that. Any idea who these hooligans were, or what they wanted? Not really. I did hear them discussing a farmhouse in Shaymore. They were going to lock me up there with the rest of their hostages. Then I have more work to do. I can't save you and leave the others to rot. Bad form, you know. Count me in. I may not be a centaur-killing berserker like you, but I can take care of myself. I'll meet you there.